12 Toronto condo investments, resale, assignments, and pre-construction. Hello friends, it's Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor Mortgage Broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. And today we're going to talk about 12 Toronto condo investments you can find, either resale, assignment, or pre-construction. Now I do have a showing coming up in like 18 minutes, so it's going to be real quick and I'm going to make this video live. It means you can see I haven't prepared anything. I mean, I know what I'm going to show you, but I'm going to open the pages as we go along. Okay, you ready? Let's go. All right, 12 Toronto Condo Investments, Resale Assignments and Pre-Construction. Uh, this is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor. I help people buy, sell, and invest in condos, properties, mostly condos, but it could be homes, commercial, all kinds of income uh, generating properties. And today we're going to focus on 12 easy investments you can make in Toronto's real estate. Now, why would you do this? You did this because the Toronto real estate market is only up and up. It's, going, it's doing really great. Um, there's a lot of negative news media, but at the end of the day, Canada is the best place in the world to live in. So I want to show you a few things. Let's start with this studio investment for 380. This is an assignment at the Playground Condos, which is at the bottom of the foot of Strawn. It's a lovely project. It's about to get the two towers about to get completed. So just outside, uh, just outside the entry to Liberty uh, Village, on Strawn, when you come down from uh, King, okay, towards the Strawn Bridge there. So that was a decrepit little old uh, warehouses for many, many years, and the area has been cleaned up. Here's a view looking <coughs> from the east to the west. <coughs> you can see the two bridges of uh, the new Stanley Park South, the extension, the, the, the train tracks. You know, 10, 20 years ago, it was unheard of to live by the train tracks. Now everything is game. Laneway, houses are game, train tracks are game. It's all good. What we look for, we look for a good investment. We look for good floor plan, we look for uh, value, we look for cash flow, all the, these things. In this case, uh, the reason I'm, I'm talking to you about this because this studio, if you want to see the link, click on this uh, link here, then it's going to go to yossi.searchrealty.co, open the listing, and it'll say 30 ordinance units, 1104, and the floor plan is here. Uh, this floor plan, it's a studio, it's 322 square feet, it's got a good Design because the kitchen is L-shaped, which allows for the bed to be completely in there. A lot of these studios have the kitchen on the side, which means you're always like looking into your kitchen. This is not the case here. You know, when I was uh, younger, I, I lived in studios this size, and it was fine. It was totally fine. And nice thing about these studios is that if you only have fun to invest, and you still want to invest in Toronto, it's technically impossible, especially now in the construction. There's nothing in, under five almost under six really in this area. So here you get a chance to invest 380,000 for this condo and I assume the rent you'll get is about 1,800 to 2,000 a month. So that's not bad at all, okay? Uh, so that's number one. Let's keep going. I'm gonna scroll through my Twitter, show you a few things and we'll bounce around. Uh, the next one is of course Galleria Mall, which is opening, uh, I'll have the detail for you to, uh, next week today. Galleria Mall by Free Development, Elad Canada. Uh, this is a master plan community. I chose this master plan community as one of my top three master plan communities to invest in um, because the location, which is at uh, Dufferin and DuPont, they've taken the whole old Galleria Mall and putting a whole new plan designed on it. I really like it. I think this is a very, very important development. I think anyone that will um, invest here uh, can do very, very well for years to come. Okay? Just remember that. When you invest in a long project, this project will take 10 years to build. You know, 10 years to build, you buy the first, you know, by the time they handed the, the key, the last key, 10 years later, the price is usually more than doubled. In Toronto, they doubled every seven or eight years. So a lot of chance here. Also, it's just really nice. All the buildings kind of different. It's kind of like an architectural place. So I really like that. Okay. So that's Galleria Mall. Uh, now we go into an assignment that I represent at 488 University Avenue. 649.5 so that's just under 1200 the foot that's a very good price considering the 489 university across the street already asking 1650 a foot the same unit will cost you another 100 to 150 thousand more uh, this unit in my opinion will rent for about five thousand dollars a month furnished to a doctor surgeon lawyer executive that is on university a lot of these doctors come for six eight twelve months kind of rotations they come to one of the hospitals they learn from one of the amazing Canadian doctors and they go back to their countries that's a lot happens, a lot happening. These doctors are great. They're great people. They work really hard. They're at the hospital all day long. They come to crash. This is the building to be in. It's connected to the subway. It's going to have an amazing uh, sky lobby on the uh, 18th to 19th floor. 
Uh, they got amenities, and this one is facing south on the 39th floor. Couldn't be better. In my opinion, one of the best investments possible, and in 100,000 uh, in the pocket, you can grab this assignment. I would highly recommend it. If you want more detail about this one, any, just give me a shout. Okay, moving along. Um, I'm, I'm using my Twitter. Uh, these are rentals. I'm going to skip them, although they're nice rentals. Uh, but today we're about buying. Um, I want to show you a few more here. Okay, this development is going to come next week. This is called the View Condo. It had a different name before. It changed the name and changed the architectural design. It's 507, 507 Kingston Road. It's a brand new construction, brand new development, mostly larger units, some large townhomes. A lot, of, lots of terraces and beautiful views and sunlight, plus two large penthouses uh, that is available. This is a small building, about 30 units in total. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the, I really like what they've done with it. You know, it took a few iterations, but good that it happened because that's what it is. Uh, you're looking at lower values per foot here, 785, 800, 850 a foot, but the units are larger. So most of the units are 800. A million, a million two, and the penthouse is up to three million. Okay, that's the view. If you're looking for a long-term home, uh, a long-term investment, you like the Upper Beach area, that you should definitely consider. I have the floor plans already, and I'm going to have the prices in a few days. Contact me about this one. It's not going to. There's not going to be any public launch because we're just going to sell word about 30, 30 units. Oh, clicked on something wrong here. Okay, go back. All right. Uh, I'm going to skip the rental. This is an amazing assignment at Kingley. Uh, 699 for the 600 square feet unit. Uh, Kingley is doing really well. 1170 a foot is amazing. Uh, if you are looking, and I hope you can hear the people around here, the coffee shop, but it is what it is. That's life in the city. Um, Kingley is doing really well. I think the price of Kingley will shoot up once the building has been occupied and all the units uh, been delivered. Uh, that usually happens in new buildings. So if you grab assignment at this stage, probably going to get a bit of a discount on it. Also, if you grab the assignment before they get the keys, before occupancy, it's going to be a little cheaper. After occupancy, it's going to be more. And after closing, the owner will want full profit plus all the closing costs, and that's going to reflect in the price. So uh, this can easily shoot up by $100, $120 a foot. So a unit like this could easily, you know, once uh, 543 Richmond almost sold out now, and they're doing $1,213, $1,400 a foot. Rush Condo was 1400 a foot sold out. Uh, King, B.I.G. King West, 16 half of the foot, sold out, just a few minutes left. They're just going to release panels as they're done, start construction. Very good value on King West, uh, 699 for 600 square feet. Very, very nice. Okay. Nobu Kondo, got a bunch of them here. This one is a, is a corner suite on a higher uh, floor, 862 square feet and balcony. And that's a southeast exposure, which is highly, highly desired exposure, especially if you come from Asia. It's got two separate uh, uh, bedrooms, two separate baths, a nice foyer, den. Uh, the design's really, really good here. 39 a foot, you can see that's $200 a foot more than King West. Uh, but it's a larger unit with the corner, with the glass. So you're paying a bit of that, you're paying a bit for Nobu. And, you know, if you can find assignments in Nobu next year, they'll be $1,500. And I think by the time you get the keys to Noble, which is probably two or three years, you're looking at sixteen, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollar foot. I know it's crazy, but that's where we're going. Okay, if 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 things are going the way they are, even if they only appreciate by three or four percent, they still double every eight years. Okay, so understand that investing today is much better than investing tomorrow. Okay, this uh, unit is a penthouse, also an assignment at the Art Shop. Art Shop's doing really well. Uh, this one is actually 1339 a foot, 1.25 million for this slightly larger unit, 933 square feet, two bath, two bath, two balconies, 27 floor, lovely unit, lots of glass, two separate mini units in there for living uh, quarters, kitchen at the back, just like I like it. The design is really, really good here, and that's definitely a long-term thingy. Now, when you buy a penthouse, you know, it's not going to buy and sell right away, but when it does, it does, and you're going to make a lot of money. So penthouse is good long-term investment okay so that's the one um, this is unbelievable value actually one of the best value I see right now is a 330 rich which is almost ready this is a one bedroom one bath approximately 635 square feet so it's a nice larger one bed there's enough room there you can see the kitchen is on the side but it's large enough to just expand on the 11th floor facing north to Queen there's also a rooftop uh, pool in this building but this building is going to be like a nice boutique building for Queen Espadina. Lots of value. I mean, <laughs> this is amazing value. 565 for this value, 889 a foot. Unheard of. 
There's one more assignment that I'll show you in a second. Um, I'm going to jump here to uh, Young and Richmond. So that's Young and Rich, 40th floor penthouse, two bed, uh, two bed in a den, three bath, large unit, almost 600 square feet, 1.8 million, 1154 foot. You see the dollar per foot here for a penthouse should be 13, 14, 15, but because it's a large unit, dollar per foot is down a bit. Still 1.8 million, beautiful unit. You know, that's good for an executive uh, running a financial company, working one of the towers. You know, there's more and more towers coming downtown, so there's more and more, um, we're going to need some more and more housing for the people that are making the two, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars a month. Okay, there's another noble here for 1.2 million. Uh, that is the same Kingly. Uh, there's another noble for 620. Now, if you budget uh, strap, but you still want to invest in a high-end building like Nobu, you can look at this one here. Why? Because Nobu is a high, high-end building. It's very desirable, so maybe you have to flip it even once, one more time, or rent it for a lot of money, or close on it, rent it for yourself, and still grab something for under the $1,200 mark, which I think is remarkable. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Uh, a few more things here. This is really good. This is uh, the Brit Condos, 525, and it's a smaller unit, 454. But that's like the one bedrooms at the Thompson. All the one bedrooms now are about 450 square feet, at 1156, 525,000. That's very good. I mean, you know, this unit will cost you 650 at uh, BIG King West. And you're in Yorkville here. This is an amazing building, uh, amazing feat of engineering, putting a giant building on top of the old hotel there. I've been in many events. It's going to be really, really nice. It's going to be like one of the nicest buildings, and the price is going to shoot up. Remember what happened to U condos? 1080 Bay and 65 St. Mary, and 832 Bay, all these buildings, and, and Murano, Murano buildings, all those were sold for like $400 a foot, then $500 and people said that was crazy, and then it shot up like crazy. Now they're selling for full value, market value, and people paid, you know, four to 600 and now they're selling for two to three times what they paid for. Remember, they didn't pay the whole amount, they just paid 20%, the rest was leveraged anyway. That's the power of leverage and the power of real estate. So I think we're at about eight or nine. This is... Um, this one is the other 330 Richmond. Uh, give me a shout if you still exist. 719, two bed, two bath with a terrace. This is really, really nice. 12 floors, nice exposure. It's got the rooftop pool, the fitness center. That is a very good building from uh, the Green Company. 769 a foot. Unbelievable value. Grab it. Okay, now I'm going to show you a few other things. There's more there on the Twitter. You can just go there. Uh, but if you go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, okay, how are we doing on time here? doing pretty good 12 minutes in okay uh, the first thing I want to show you is this article here called Toronto's three best investor condo projects for this year and the next and these are the well by Tridel which is one that I really like that's another video here by the way it's gonna load but this is number one I chose the well by Tridel there's a 254,000 square foot Shopify office there's other offices there there's kind of a mall there's like it's a whole community condensed into this giant city block so there's office towers there's a commercial, there's residential, of course. Uh, we're selling Classic 2 now. These buildings are, there's quite a few buildings, quite a few units, so you can call me and ask me what's available right now. You're looking at $1,200 to $1,500 a foot here. This is primo, primo, primo development at a discount price. Um, I really like it. It's a true master plan community. BIG King West is, is four towers, but it's still one development with a little kind of Yorkville style mall underneath, which is really cute. But that's already sixteen to eighteen hundred dollar for this is twelve to fourteen now, but it's gonna come up to fifteen and eighteen. You know, Tridel pushes the price all the time. So Tridel really um, rewards you when you buy early. So if you wanna get in here, let me know. Um, Galleria, I, I started with Galleria this video, but you can see it's very unique. I really like what they're doing this. Fred's been at it for almost twenty years now. I know Peter personally and a lot of people that work there. It's an amazing bunch of people. It's, it's a very good group. You can see some of the uh, renders here. It's really, really nice. That's the park that exists already. They're going to fix it up. There's a community center. There's a whole living area. I highly, highly recommend you look into this project. Prices are coming. Uh, here's a, a overview, and prices are coming uh, a week today, September 10th. Okay, so if you're watching this before, ask me for the price. If you ask me after, ask me for the prices, and I'll give you the updated. Okay, there it is. Uh, number three here is Crosstown Condos by Aspen Ridge. Uh, this is another master plan. So these are the three master plan communities. This is the one at DVP and 401, right by the old uh, IBM there, or on the grounds of the old IBM. 
Okay, so this is they're selling uh, the Crosstown One right now. There's a bunch of buildings there. There's a bunch of uh, uh, units going there. I forget how many thousands, but that's a large project, and it's a discount about 900 to 1100 a foot. Why? Because their location. But the unit designs are very good. There's a location right here, Don Mills and uh, Eglinton East. Okay, so right next to DVP and 401. Very, very good. Okay, uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to find some assignments. So assignments, you can find them on my Twitter, or you can go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, my website, and click on the assignment here. That's going to show you the assignments are in the system. For every assignment in the system, there are probably 10 or 20 assignments that are not in the system. Okay, so, but you can see what's in the system, and you can sort by what was uploaded uh, most recent. So let's go to latest listings. And you see some nice things here. Or if you're looking for value, go to filter, oh, go to uh, sort. You can go, what's the most expensive assignment? Right now, that's the penthouse at One Harbor, 2.45, and, and some other things here. Usually, there are penthouses, larger units, larger floors. And you can also sort by latest listing. I did that to see what came in. And look at what you do with low to high. So you get some units here in the low mark, which is really nice. You can find some assignments on the 500 in the system as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven under 500. That's it. Only seven units under 500,000. So if you're limited to the 500,000 range, you've got to make your move, my friends, because if you don't, you know, you're going to be pushed out of the core and you're just going to pay more per dollar per foot, whether you're paid in Toronto or you're paid outside of Toronto. But that's what's going to happen, okay? Um, Last thing I'm going to review with you is go to yossi.searchrealty.co, okay, and I'm going to show you three quick searches. Um, and basically what you come here, you come here and you type in the area like McQueen West. Oh. Queen West. Queen, Queen West. And it's going to pull, that's nice because you can do a keyword search on Queen West. I'm going to put a filter here. And I, there's two things I usually do. First of all, I make sure there's one bath just to make sure that no parking or commercial, whatever, get in there. And I'm going to put minimum price. doesn't matter, three, 400000 just to see. And now it's going to come with all the keywords that match Queen West. So you can see here's 855 Richmond, the townhouse. Right? This is the, the lofts, okay? St. Clarence. This is the, the 915 King West, and so on and so forth. You can see... Now, they're all a bit mixed because this searches for the keyword King, Queen West. Nonetheless, it's going to give you a lot of options here. Okay? You can also do a map search, but that's a good way to do it. And you can see exactly what's available. That's really cool. Okay? Now, what happened? Uh, so, 20 Gladstone, for example, this is a very sought after building. There's, uh, I was involved in a bunch of uh, multiple offer situation unfortunately for that one i was at a buying side not the seller side you know <laughs> there's only one winner uh doesn't matter how many offers there are there's only one unit one winner but you can see what's available so this is uh 20 glass tone that's going really really well the whole carnaby and the queen west that goes really well the same thing you can do with uh king west or any other area like yorkville and that's where i'm going to finish here so for example if i We'll put a keyword for Yorkville. Your. Okay, I'm just going to hit it. It's going to search for the keyword Yorkville, over 300 with one bath, and there you go. And now we can sort it by latest listing to see what's fresh. But that gives you the advantage. You can also set the search to send you. There's a free app available here. You can download it. Okay, mobile app, all that stuff. So there you go. Uh, today we'll learn how to find, so this is Yossi Kaplan, and today we definitely learn how to find assignments, how to find what pre-construction deals I like, which ones I recommend. Again, uh, those are, uh, we looked at some assignments in uh, King West area. There's a lot more, of course, but for today, these are 12 Toronto condo investments you can make in resale, assignments, and pre-construction. That's it.